Greetings to you all and welcome back to Let's Play the Delangrizer where we are having our revenge on the creators of the game. But why do we need to have our revenge on them? I thought they did a pretty good job. I mean we like their game, don't we? Yes we do, but they made Secret Level 1 with the Anarchy and the Sexy Beam. You seem to be talking a lot about the sexy beam, don't you lately? I mean, these anarchies, they're long gone. Why are you mentioning them? They're not coming back? What? what? No, they can't come back. No! Yes, it's coming up. It's not going to be quite as bad as you're thinking, though. Worry not. The point I'm trying to make in this level is that it does like to remind you about the anarchy, which is kind of a, a sneaky thing they're doing there. Because, you see, it has a lot of questions about the anarchy. We had a question about Varan and Samson just a moment ago. The point of these is that if you had missed the first secret level, then you wouldn't know how to answer these questions, and that's a shame. No. So you have to make sure you have actually been to the first secret level, otherwise you have next to no chance of answering everything correctly in this one. It's a little bit of an unfair trick, but there you go. Anyway, I've been talking about the anarchy as if they're coming back. Well, they're not coming back, you'll be pleased to know. But we do have one last remnant of the anarchy that's coming up. It'll be coming up next turn when we ask that chap up there a question. Don't worry, it's nothing fearful. It was in fact the most enjoyable part of the anarchy stage, yes. There were enjoyable parts in the stage, don't lie. Unfortunately, I have miscounted my squares and I have placed Erwin in a position of danger. However, Erwin, being the hero that he is, can stand there while giant blister arrows just hit him smack in the chest and ting off him as if they are nothing. That's Erwin for you. He's a proper hero. Not like everyone else in the team. Ah, uh, Commander Lord, your fourth and back pacing and rearrangement days are over. Go, Keith, make this man pay, with the assistance from Haynes Magic. You'll see now we also have a couple of arrows pointing left and right at the top and bottom of the box. That just indicates we have more spells. That's because Blizzard has taken up a space on this screen. Anyway, Blizzard, yes, it's AoE around Hain. There it is, it's quite big. Fear not, therefore, we will be able to hit people with it. It does slightly more damage than Fireball does, it costs slightly more MP, it's harder to aim, it's harder to land, but it has different advantages. Fireball, and fire magic in general, is good against the undead. Blizzard, however, is a nice magic, and therefore is good against flying units. We will see more flying units than we will undead, therefore it's a better spell. Fire is also extra effective against slimes, I do believe. There we go, Keith, make this happen. It's not the easiest fight in the world for Keith. He's not going to lose it by any means, but it may take a few turns to beat this, this person down. He will be backed up, of course, but Lester will take a while to get there, due to his inability to walk straight. Anyway, here is a question. We must name this tune! How long do I let it play before I answer? Now, Requiem, that's complete nonsense. Anarchy, that's obviously the right answer. Iron Body Bash is a plausible answer, but it's wrong, but with Anarchy. Once again, you see, you had to play the first secret level in order to know the answer. That's a little bit of a devious trap. Another thing to notice, though, is that now we've answered that question, the Anarchy theme is playing. We get it for the whole round. Yes, there we go. There's the relics taken from the level that we love. You notice my level of commentary starts to decrease as I like to appreciate the music. Yes, that's enough of that. Alright then, now let's focus down our targets. Lester, try to catch up as best you can. Archers are bad against soldiers, but they're even worse against pikemen. 
They may be able to pick off the odd point of damage. I suppose they also may be able to do the odd point of damage against the Lord. If we attack up them, then they'll be doing respectable damage. So they're not useless. And they'll be useful for when we go in and fight uh, Yuki and his horsemen. So they don't need to push up. Anyway, I do believe the fight on the right is under more control than the fight on the left. So Eren's job will be go to the left once he has stepped on this eye and seen what it does. It does nothing! Okay. It's a waste of time. You have to admit, that looked like it was going to do something. Uh, that'll do just fine. I may use the Freya to heal up Cherie's units. They're all taking a bit of damage here. Time for Cherie's class change, though, more importantly. Now, there's an option that's probably caught your eye. Dragon Knight. You can throw away your hawk and instead mount a dragon and seem to gain a spike coming out of your own head, which I think is actually supposed to be a wing. The white doesn't... Ah, uh, there, I've seen everything wrong there, haven't I? Instead, it's a dragon. Or you can become a swordsman, even though you're a woman. She's very manly, is Cherie. So, if you're screaming at the thing now, Dragon Knight, that looks so awesome. Yes, you have to go for Dragon Knight. No, you're wrong, Swordsman. There we go. Swordsman is the same as Erwin. So that's good, because we like Erwin. Erwin's very strong. Now, Cherie's very strong. She can't fly anymore. It's a shame. Now, if you're a little concerned about why I'm doing that, well, I did say that Cherie is going to lose her flying capabilities, because Keith is the flyer. That means that at Keith's next level up, because he is a Hawk Lord, he's also going to get the chance to mount a dragon. Only Keith will take it, because he has more sense. The other thing we need to notice now about Cherie, now that she's a swordsman, so she's getting some new units, she can now get archers. We don't really need any more archers on this team. She can get bandits, they're not really very good. I'd rather have horsemen. So why did I even bother? Well, it leads to much better classes in the end. The other little point we need to note is that now she probably isn't well suited to having the amulet. We may seek to change what she's got uh, equipped. I'm not sure what to, but we may change it. There are some rather more interesting items coming up later, more interesting than just Defense Plus. And I think I shall save this skill for Leon. Why not? I like seeing the lightning from this thing. Even though Leon has no trouble getting experience, despite me saying that she would for most of the game. Ha, indeed. Heal 2 was learnt. So apparently I did make the right choice because Heal 2 is a big, big spell. Much better than Force Heal 2 that the Freya has. Really very useful. Anyway, most of the team now have finally reached that th or mighty third class. Just trying to think who hasn't done it, and besides Keith and Lester, I don't think there's anyone left. This is a good thing. It means we're probably a little bit ahead in the level, since most of our opponents seem to be second level classes, and our boss kind of opponents seem to be third level classes. You may notice that we cannot actually walk up the weird face men raised platform ledge things, railings, whatever they're supposed to be. These, these things, these faces, which are considered walls by the game. We cannot walk up them, so Evan's going to have to make his way around. Oh, this thing flies, so we can go with it Lux. Anyway, Cherie is now a swordswoman. That means she has the sword burst explosion sword of flame attack. Also means she has plus nine plus six bonuses, which are quite nice.
I think most people would generally disagree with the way I've taken Cherie, making her a swordswoman where most people would prefer the Dragon Knight, they think it's a better unit, and it probably is. Because the Dragon Knight gets a very useful unit, much better than fairies. But we'll see that from Keith, and like I said, I like specialists, I don't like to have more than one flyer if I can help it. No, at no point did I ever say I was playing this game with the best possible team, I said I was playing this game the way I just sort of would, and under any natural circumstances. Erwin, you may help this side. I was going to send you to the other side, but I think they've got it under control. So you're welcome over here. Lester, can you reach? You're going to reach that. Uh, okay, Keith. You go sit off on some railing somewhere. And you can bring your troops around with you. And we'll see if Lester can take down one group of spearmen in direct combat. He has every chance of doing it. I mean, he has a fair attack. But then he is Lester. And Lester hasn't been the most reliable chap we've seen all game. Oh no, very good Lester. He does have 30 attacks, so it's, uh, it's quite respectable. Most of our commanders now have a reasonable attack. Apart from Liana, but that's excusable. She can summon a Valkyrie, that's more powerful than anything else. Valkyrie is still the more offensive option. Uh, stat wise, it's better and it has the offensive spells, of course. I prefer Freya because uh, Force Heal 2 is useful, but Attack 2 is, in, yeah, is really, really good. There are times when uh, the Valkyrie is going to be more beneficial. If there's lots of units all grouped up, then of course Fireball is going to be the way to go. Anyway, I do believe there is only one question that we now need to answer. And once we have answered that question, it will be a job well done. But let me draw your attention to something. The music. Yes, it's still anarchy. The game makers thought, well, we'll ask you a quick music question. Play the anarchy theme. And then they realised, hang on, the anarchy theme? This is awesome. Let's keep playing the anarchy theme. And so we're still listening to the anarchy theme. It will stay with us till the end of the level. It doesn't matter if it's our turn, it doesn't matter if it's their turn, you must listen to the anarchy. Looks like this fight will be ending next turn, I don't know why I didn't shoot. Looks like that fight will be kicking off next turn. Next turn being our next turn, not their next turn. The enemy is cowards, look. As they do slight rearrangement and don't fight anything. Maybe shoot some ballistas. Ooh, I didn't realize my archers were in range. This could be bad. Archers are very weak to ballistas, and because they outrange them quite so much, they don't get to shoot back. And they're still taking pop shots at Cherie. Just because Cherie is no longer on a bird doesn't mean she suddenly gained any defence. She's still incredibly fragile. And she's kindly demonstrated for us with her girlish screams. Though she is a girl, so she's allowed to have girlish screams. A valiant effort, young archer, but you have failed us all miserably. a clever move there by Commander Lord duping us into thinking he was going to have the bravado to attack Erwin and then he turns it around on the archers poor things. Anyway that's about going to do it for another video I'm expecting their turn to end now very good. Hopefully you'll join me for the next video and we will finish it off yes I've said it, it will end in the next video join me for that